Hey everybody, welcome to another Star Wars video. Um, today is somewhat of a haul video, and it is some things that I received for Christmas. Now, I bet you'll be saying, whoa, Christmas hasn't even happened yet. Well, under some circumstances, we will not be home for Christmas, so I was able to open my presents a few days early this year. So, I will basically be showing you the Star Wars things that I have received. So, there is kind of a lot, so I'll just jump right into it. Uh, the first one is the Star Wars Visual Dictionary. Now, I do have the complete Visual Dictionary that spans all uh, six movies. This one is based on the original trilogy and is basically the same um, information and pages that is found in the complete Visual Dictionary. However, it is nice that it's, you know, just the original trilogy. So, for example, this is uh, Boba Fett here. So, so nice little find. Yeah. Um, I did get several puzzles to uh, add my collection. Um, now, I ha some I got some comments on some of the recent puzzle things I have. Um, I am not just into puzzles. I obviously have a huge span of interest in Star Wars. So, don't think that I am like a hardcore puzzle collector. But you know, they're just nice items to have. So, um, the, f the first one I got was a uh, three-in-one panoramic puzzle, which it's three puzzles which add into one puzzle, like this one. And I actually have a poster of this right next to me here. So, I got this one as a panoramic puzzle, and I also got this one, which I've actually opened and started putting it together. But it's, um, uh, hold on here. It looks like this. Kind of hard to show you, but it's basically the um, cover of the 30th anniversary collection coin album, if I'm not mistaken. So, and they're very big. They look very nice. And once I put put some of that puzzle glue on them, they'll look even better. Um, the last puzzle I received was this one. Now, it looks like this. However, it's one of the puzzles where you... or just things that if you look at it at a different angle, it changes the what you're seeing. So I got one of those, and it looks very cool. I do have that one set up. So those are the rest of the puzzles. Um, I did get a poster, and I really like this poster. It looks very cool. Um, it's pretty much, I think it's called Star Wars Rock, and it's basically um, a concert, a, a, a painted concert, where the band members are um, some of our favorite characters from the original trilogy. So I just thought that was very cool. So it's very nice, and we'll add a great addition to the collection. Uh, now on to the Hasbro items. Um, first, uh, we'll look at the Clone Wars figures I got. I got two Clone Wars figures today. I got the Wave... It was like Wave 5. Uh, Kato Parasi. So, very cool figure. Not the best figure. And I really don't think they needed to make a figure off her. There would be better figures I would have rather seen. But, you know, it's, get, it's good to get another villain. And I also did get the Wave 5, I believe, Quinlan Voss. Uh, same wave as, same wave as Kato Pair City. So that means there are only four new, new sculpt figures that I need to get and complete the whole line from 2010 so far, which is the Mace Windu, Ket, Mace Windu and Kit Fistu, Kit Fisto, sorry, um, and Undead Geonosin and Clone Trooper Draw. So those four I need to get sometime. However, there are some vintage figures I would like to get, and I'll just go into those now. Uh, I got two vintage figures. I got Woof from Wave 3, which is a great addition to the um, Jabba's Palace set I got going on. 
And then from wave three as well, the Rebel Commando. And of course, wave three is the um, Return of the Jedi wave. Now I will be doing reviews on these figures most likely after the holidays. Um, and yeah, so I got two older battle packs. Um, I was really surprised that I uh, received these, but these two battle packs are somewhat older. And I never did think I would actually pick them up. Um, the first one is the Birth of Darth Vader, which includes 2-1-B, a galactic chopper droid, and Darth Vader along with his uh, table, or his medical table. And I most likely will be doing a review on this out of the pack, or well, it's out of the packaging, but I will most likely be doing a review on this, even though it is an older item. Um, you can let me know if you want to see it, or not, just leave a comment. Um, the other one I got was the uh, Tatooine Desert Ambush, which includes uh, Darth Maul, Qui-Gon Jinn, Darth Maul Sith Speeder, and uh, little young Anakin Skywalker. So I really like this pack for the Sith Speeder and the Anakin Skywalker. And my shelves are filling up. I will have to definitely make a new um, arrangement and... Once I do that, I'll probably do another collection update. So the last item I got is probably the best thing that I um, got, and I'm really happy for it. I uh, really wanted it, and it arrived. It is the new, humongous, Target-exclusive, nine-figure action figure set piece. Um, it comes with three sets, the Imperial set, the Bespin Alliance set, and the Hoth Rebels. This thing is like three feet long, I believe. Um, very tall, too. It's like seven inches, I think. Um, very tall. Comes with some great figures. Um, I must say the packaging is a little oops, overwhelming. It took me about 15 minutes to get all the figures out. Um, but this will save me a huge chunk of change in the sense that I won't have to buy it now since I got it. So then... I think I'll spend my money on something else, which I think may be the Defensive Hoth Battle Pack. Not sure yet. However, it comes with some great figures. It comes with a Han Solo, um, a Rebel Hoth Trooper FX-7, Bespin Wingard, Landra Lando Calrissian, uh, Luke Skywalker, and Bespin Fatigue, the same that was in the Vintage Basic card. Um, Adat Driver, Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot, and Forlong, which is the same as the uh, vintage packaging. And so now I don't have to buy those two figures. And that also completes my New Year's resolution, well, at the beginning of the 2010 year, to get um, all six of the Episode 5 Bounty Hunters. So, totally happy with that. Um, this came huge. I don't know where I'm going to keep this box because it's very nice. And I think there may be word that there's going to be another one of these coming out. Um, not sure if it'll be Target exclusive, not sure what's going to be in it. But that would be very interesting. And it's a really great piece. For the amount of money, it's only like five bucks a figure. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is doing reviews on each individual pack. Um, so, yes, definitely I will be having to do a rearrange of the collection due to the fact I have a ton of figures now and my shelves are getting a little crowded. Um, so, since this is my last um, video um, until Christmas, I may just do a, film a few reviews but won't post them. Uh, I would like to wish you all a happy holidays and I will be back right after Christmas and before the new year, um, the new year. And so I just hope you all have a happy holiday, stay, stay safe, and spend lots of time with your family and friends. So, happy holidays, and until next time, Star Wars collectors keep collecting, Star Wars fans start collecting, and may the force be with you. Bye.